Bagley here. Wow, I am excited to work with you again this season. Cannot wait for the schedule. Oh, to work with you, Kev, man. You're a legend, and it's always an interesting journey. We're fired up. These teams are fired up. Let the games begin. And the starting lineup for the Timberwolves. The wing set for them, Edwards and McDaniel. Kyle Anderson is out there with Gobert, and it's Conley in at point. Just five on the clock. Driving the lane, and Davis sends it back. It's the length of Davis that makes it so hard to shoot over top of. Basket good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Edwards, that's in there. Conley with the assist. And it's really good to see Edwards knock down the mid-range jumper. He continues to work on becoming more consistent from that area. And there's the pass to Hachimura. Russell against Conley. LeBron outside. Over Anderson. James, the pass to Davis. Basket counts. The selfless attitude of James when someone on his team has a clean look, he feeds it. Well, it was the Los Angeles Lakers winning their last game against Milwaukee. It's Edwards on the wing. And so just over a minute and a half played. Five on the clock. Here's Conley. Connects on the nine-footer. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Davis kicks to Hachimura. Lakers in the ball around now. Passes to James. Beyond the arc, the three-pointer is right on target. LeBron's got five. We talk about it a lot, how consistent James has become from range over a full season. Gobert finds Conley. It's Edwards on the wing. Offline with his three. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Pass to Davis. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And how great are they playing? Four for four shooting to start this one. After two consecutive first-round exits, Greg, the Timberwolves are looking to take that next step. And with Anthony Edwards at the helm, I think they will soon. But you have to remember, he is only 22 years old. And when your star is that young, you typically have to endure some growing pains before breaking through. And the foul called on Austin Reeves. That's his first foul. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. It's stolen by Hachimura. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. Russell against Conley. Anderson in the post. Now here's McDaniel. He's covered by Hachimura. Lakers leading by seven. Here's James. Drops in the layup for two. LeBron's got seven. Like at this point in time, like you have to understand that if LeBron James is on the inside, he has so many ways to beat you. A little contact's not going to do anything. Gobert with a screen on Russell. Outside, Edwards. Back to Conley. Shot clock at five. Here's Anderson. No good again that time. Lakers have got a perfect six for six in the game up to this point. Pass to Reeves. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. That one good for two. Six points for Anthony Davis. 
And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. So the Timberwolves called their first timeout. While we can, here's a look at the teams that had the fastest hands in the league last season. Fifth, the Timberwolves. You could tell by watching them how much they enjoyed playing defense. They seem to have an endless reserve of energy flying around and, and pressuring the basketball. against Russell. Now here's Gobert. He's guarded closer. Back to Conley. Down to five on the shot clock. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. And doesn't have the most height, but Conley sure plays with heart. Unbothered by the contested shot. James outside. The pass to Davis. Kicks it out to LeBron. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Timberwolves trail by 12. Edwards inside. Count it. His second make in four attempts. Agile move off the contact by Edwards, getting to his shot despite the difficult defense. Here's Reeves coming off a stellar performance against Milwaukee. LeBron outside over Gobert. LeBron, no good. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Gobert with a screen on Russell. Conley the pass to Gobert. And finished off by Gobert. And all of that size rolling there after that screen. Gobert moves now with such confidence when in the pick and roll. Russell finds James. Out to Russell. The train. Good. And the assist goes to James. LeBron's got three assists now in this one. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. And here's Edwards from the arc. Bangs home the trifecta. Edwards got seven. Oh, man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. Nice ball movement in by the Lakers. James with the bucket. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Timberwolves trail by 11. Edwards looking it over. And Davis pulls it down. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. Passes it to Reeves. Back to LeBron. Kicks to Russell. 
to the paint. Here's Davis. And they call the foul. So a chance at the line for one more coming up. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. And look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. You also have to admire how they've challenged the defense inside, getting a lot of points in the paint. That one misses for Davis. Davis definitely wants to be better from here. He knows that he can improve on his percentage from the line. And the foul on Rui Hachimura. That's his first foul. GA, is it me or does it feel like we've had more parity in the league the last few seasons? Well, Kevin, the playoffs have been pretty hard to predict lately. Yeah, I will give you that. There's been only one repeat champion in the past decade. It's a competitive league. Minnesota calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. numbers for Gobert. Great showing for him last season. And a top 15 ranking in blocks per game. Supplying that backline protection that is so key to a great defense. And it's a pretty terrific feat to finish top three in field goal percentage. Just a testament to how hard he works to become the consummate pro. Anderson passes to McDaniels. To the left wing. Conley kicks to Reed. Six on the shot clock. Releases. A rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got his fourth rebound in this one. LeBron up top. Outside Russell. Feeds to Davis. Over Conley. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Russell. Davis has got ten points. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Conley against Russell. Has to read. Back to Conley. And it goes down two points. He's got six. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. It's a 13-point game. Last time they came together was in Minnesota, where they felled the Wolves. Man, nowhere near at their best uh, throughout the course of that game. A scrappy performance, but in the end, just not enough. You know when things aren't going your way, it's tough to stick it out. So I applaud them for hanging in there. And it's Russell missing. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball on the three-point line. It's Anderson with the drive. Tries it again. He takes it up and lays it in. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Russell with a wide-open look. Hits the three-point bomb. Russell's got his second bucket. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Conley, the pass to Anderson. To the right side. Now, here's McDaniels. 
He's covered by Hachimura. Here's Freed. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. Pass to Reeves. Back to James. And the pass to Hachimura. Conley against Russell. Over Conley. Again, Los Angeles. And he's off to an impressive start. Always nice to get three of your first four to drop. Russell against Conley. Anderson outside. Pass to Reed. Gobert against Davis. And Gobert gets to Anderson. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. This is his first free throw of the game. And as for last season, he was a 74% shooter at the line. Kyle Anderson, two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Hayes, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. Torian Prince comes in for Hachimura. Reddish, he's checked in for Austin Reeves. And Dinwiddie subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. Timberwolves also changing it up. Warren's checked in for Gobert. Edwards comes in for McDaniels. And Morris subbed in for Mike Conley. And both free throws good for Anderson. Lakers leading by 12. Dinwiddie kicks to James. Back to Dinwiddie. Floats it up for James. An emphatic LU jam. Oh, yeah. The old man could still do that. LeBron James with the catch and finish. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Oh, here is Edwards. T right on him. Morris outside, just five to shoot, sinks the triple. And showing he can make plays for others. Edwards moving it with conviction. Charity strike shot, a nice shot by LeBron. LeBron's got 17 now. The slain intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really setting the tone on offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. And so it's Los Angeles. 13 points up at the end of the period. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Noche Latina, celebrating the Latin culture and their love for the game of basketball. It just keeps growing. And guys, the Lakers are pretty much in control here. Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. They're playing for one another and focusing on making winning plays. You love to see it. Lakers leading by 13. On the court for the Timberwolves as our second quarter is underway. We've got Nas Reed. Edwards is out there with Morris. And it's DJ Warren. And it's Alexander Walker in at the three slot. James outside. And the three off target. Timberwolves trail by 13. Greg, taking a look at Monte Morris for a second. You got to be inspired by his terrific story. I mean, from late second round pick to a seasoned NBA player, Morris never gave up on himself and continues to impress with each passing season. Nice rim protection, and it's still not enough to keep him from getting that layup. James against Warren. Dinwiddie kicks to LeBron. With some arc, 
That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. James has got 19 points. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. Edwards passes to Reed. And a big concern for players and coaches is the consistency of officiating. Greg, do you like that argument? It's tough when one night something is a foul and the next night it isn't. There's some gray area, obviously. And it'd be good for the league to try and clarify how they want things called. And that one falls for Reed. Free throws, good from Reed. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Tinwitty drives in. Two points, that one goes. And the Lakers lead by 13. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Pass to Warren. Outside, Edwards. Five to shoot. Here's Reed. Minnesota needs to get off a shot here. A shot by Alexander Walker. No good. Looking at the last game for the Minnesota Timberwolves, it was a loss to the Cavaliers in Cleveland. Here's the feed to Hayes. And Hayes throws it down. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, coach has to be thrilled. You can draw up all the X's and O's you want. The guys have to go out there and execute with enthusiasm. Edwards, that's good. And he's a true inside-out threat. Edwards wants to score from everywhere on the floor. Pass to James. Back to Dinwiddie. From outside, off the mark. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. Trailing by 13. Reed kicks to Edwards. They set the screen. Back to Reed. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Reed. Reed's got four this quarter. And I like that. Edwards comes off the pick, keeps his options open, and then just makes the right read. Here's LeBron. Again, the Lakers. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Morris finds Reed. Now it And there's the foul. And it's on Torian Prince. That is his first foul of the game. And Los Angeles with some changes. Hachimura, he's checked in for Prince. And it's Russell in for Cameron Reddish. Minnesota also making some changes. McDaniels comes in for T.J. Warren. And it's Anderson in for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. On the wing, Morris. He's guarded by Russell. And here's Edwards from the arc. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. And he's doing everything he can offensively to lift them out of this hole. But I'm not sure his hot shooting can do it alone. The pass to Hachimura. And they pick up two. And I like that they're not settling. Hitting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. Russell against Morris. He kicks to McDaniels. The dish now to Edwards. Passes it to Reed. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. Oh, nice read there from Edwards. He's all for sharing the well. Lakers leading by... Screen by James. To the wing right side. And a wide open look for Hachimura. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got three assists now in this one. Side Edwards takes the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. 
the biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Dinwiddie kicks to LeBron. Reed with the rebound. Defense pulled out all the stops to shut him down there. Morris passes to Reed. Dishes to Edwards. Back to Reed. Pass to Anderson. Lock at six. There's the pick. No one near him. And again, it's Minnesota. And here is Los Angeles now. Ten-point lead. James looking around. Here's Hachimura. That shot missing. Good D by Anderson. Minnesota's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Outside Edwards. All sorts of time. That's no good. He's five of ten from the field. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. The NBA has relaxed the rules that prohibited scouting high school games. With some one-and-done players sitting out their lone college season or getting hurt, the teams needed the chance to scout them even earlier. Also, with these new pro youth leagues where NBA scouting is permitted, the sense was there was an inconsistency that needed to be remedied. Kevin? Yeah, makes sense. DA, thanks. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass a nice assist. Russell dishes to LeBron, and they double up LeBron. Anderson against Dinwiddie. Trying to find Hachimura. Gets it to him. Kicks it to Hayes. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. With this chance, I'll show you the league's most intimidating shot block and defenses from last season. In fourth, the Timberwolves. That tells you the kind of strong defense they played last season. It wasn't easy to bring the ball inside against them at all. And Los Angeles with some changes. Davis comes in for Jackson Hayes. And it's Austin Reeves in for Dinwiddie. And a change for the Timberwolves. Gobert, he's checked in for Nas Reed. Morris with the ball. He has six. Gobert with a screen on Russell. Morris kicks to Gobert. Anderson outside. Trying his luck from deep. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. After failing to get going in the first quarter, he's looked much better here in the second. Russell against Morris. Pass to Davis. Over Gobert. And Davis with the basket on the assist by Russell. Russell's got four assists in the game. Timberwolves trail by eight. Now here's Edwards. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. And he gets the bucket. And the big man from France, Gobert, a menace around the rim. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. There's the pass to Reeves. Lakers working the ball around now. 11 feet away. And it's Davis missing. Minnesota's gone 5-9 when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Morris finds Edwards. Back to Morris. Over in the corner, McDaniels. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Morris has got three assists in the game. Lakers leading by four. Passes it to Reeves. Russell a screen on Edwards. Reeves the pass to Davis. I like when Davis looks to get physical and draw contact, using his size to his advantage. He's 0-1 from the line, missing on his first trip. At the line for the Lakers, Anthony Davis. Two Take shots. break. Take break. Two shots. The first one falls. Los Angeles making a switch here. Prince is checked in. The Timberwolves also with the sub. Mike Conley's checked in for Monte Morris.
That misses, so he splits the free throws. Timberwolves trail by five. Anderson gets to Conley. Outside, Edwards. Gobert with a screen for Edwards. Nice shot by Gobert. Six points for Rudy Gobert. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. And the Lakers timeout, decide timeout. to take their first timeout here. Pardon? Check out the stats for Russell. He had a strong showing last season. Last season put up about 17 points per, six assists, and three rebounds. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. He's someone you can rely on to bring it on a nightly basis. When they need a basket, he's the guy they turn to. Lakers with possession here. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Never losing focus. Even after contact, Russell sends it home. Left side, Edwards. He dishes it to Conley. Six to shoot. Back to Edwards. From the arc. And it's Russell with the rebound. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Davis pitched to Russell. Pass to Reeves. Back to Russell. Davis dishes to Russell. Pass to Reeves. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. And he's good on the three ball. Prince has got himself on the board with three there. And I like Russell's ability to create for others. He does what's best for the team. Gobert with a screen on Russell. Bounce pass, Conley. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. For Minnesota, they have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. At the line for two. That free throw, no good. And, and Gobert knows his role on this team. Rebound, block shots, and look to score near the basket. He hits the second from the line. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Prince, the pass to Hachimura. Outside, Russell. Gobert against Davis. 
the baseline chain. The rebound by the Timberwolves. 58 seconds left to play in the first half. Outside Edwards. And Gobert kicks to McDaniel. They get it back. Out to Edwards. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Conley, the pass to Edwards. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Edwards got a pair of triples in the second now for the Timberwolves. Now the pass to Davis. Now Hachimura. Prince in the corner. Outside Russell. To the middle. No bear with the ball. And when the Bears playing with this kind of aggression on that end, there aren't many better at defending. Now Edwards. And the layup's good off the glass. Now just a two-point Laker lead. It's simple, guys. Keep getting that towards the ball and just let it. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Lakers lead by two. Got a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. AD, you see how they're playing you in the first half. What's the adjustment going to be? So, you know, we got to come out with a great intensity, and it starts in warm up. So, we got to come out uh, with a great intensity, great mindset, and talk out there and win the third quarter. I have never heard anyone say it starts in warm-ups until now. Thanks, A.D. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. I think for the Timberwolves, at this point, you got to take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do better than last year? Happens for us, too. Kenny, you cook up any new approaches in the offseason? Well, I'm going to reveal those, you know, over time, not just all in one sitting. But you're right. There is an opportunity to stretch and experiment. See what's working and what isn't. And turning our attention back to this game, guys, LeBron James had his fingerprints all over that first half. He's feasting out there, making great decisions with the ball in his hands. He came in hungry. I'm hungry too, Kenny, but no one's feeding me. Some friends you guys are. Don't talk to me. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. It's been a clinic out there by James. And if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. And let's see if the D adjusts. Here's the lob, and LeBron flies through the air! Honestly, I feel so fortunate to be able to sit here and watch this because there are not many vintage performances by LeBron James left to go in his career. Outside, Edwards. Back to Conley. Left side, Edwards. Five on the clock. Gobert with a screen for Edwards. Shot, high post. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Hachimura, the pass to James. Top of the key jumper, no good. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. Passes it to Edwards. For three. And another three for Minnesota. And you have to stay up on Edwards out there, which is dangerous because he's so good at going right around you. Reeves the pass to Hachimura. Here's Reeves. James outside. 
And it's Russell in the corner. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Man and I, four and I, both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Edwards passes to Gobert. Back to Edwards. Takes it off the glass. Edwards got 22. And great strength and body control from Edwards. Able to finish through the contact. Kicks it to LeBron. LeBron is doubled. Here's Davis. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got rebound number five here tonight. Anderson in the post. Working on James. Pass to McDaniels. Pass to Gobert. There's the dish to come. Here's Anderson. And it's all evened up. Anderson's got 11. And this has been a nice start to the second half. They're three out of four in a rhythm on the offense right now. Outside, Russell. The pass to Davis. Here's Reeves. Pass to Hachimura. Davis setting the pick for LeBron. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. High post, Gobert, working on James. Pass to Anderson. For the lead. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Anderson's got the lead up to two now for the Timberwolves. Russell against Conley. Back to Russell. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Davis. Los Angeles with another miss. How about that hard nose D in the paint right there? Nice job. Yeah, he's got great position, and it makes it a really tough shot, even from such close range. Outside Conley. Davis against Gobert. And Edwards launches it from deep. Lakers with the rebound. And here is James. He's got 23. Here's Hachimura. Rebound, Minnesota. Gobert's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And stolen by Russell. Now the Lakers on the break. He kicks it to Davis. Reeves the pass to James. Now here is Davis. McDaniels defending. Fades back. Anthony Edwards with the rebound. And he felt like he needed a little bit more space with the fade to get off the shot, but that might have been what threw him off and made a miss. A three ball. And James pulls it down. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Pass to Russell. Floats it up for James. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Nick Daniels with the ball. And Hachimura picks him up defensively. Edwards, that's good. Feed the interior. Good things will happen. Lakers trail by four. Timeout called the Lakers. Edwards with a strong contribution so far in this one. And he is absolutely dialed in from outside. They need to close out on him much quicker when he's lining up those threes.
Dinwiddie checked in for Austin Reed. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Dinwiddie. Last year, getting it done. Put up about 17 points a game, six assists, and three rebounds. And, and you look at those numbers, but really his main asset is being a playmaker. Great handle, great vision. That's how he drops so many dimes. The Lakers with the ball. Four-point game. And they double up James. Stolen by McDaniels. Anderson outside. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for Minnesota. I'm liking the throwback approach. They're making use of the mid-range area and inflicting major damage there. And another thing, the defense didn't clog the lanes. They took full advantage with their ability to attack the paint on a lot of those possessions. That one misses for Anderson. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by six. And Davis gets it to go. Inside, Davis has the upper hand. His height makes getting to his shot that much easier. Gobert with a screen on Dinwiddie. Edwards passes to Gobert. And now, here's Davis, the fast break opportunity. Dishes it to Russell. The Lakers moving the ball around. Davis down low, over by Conley, and that one's good by Davis. Look, I'm telling you, even in the mid-range, Davis is deadly. He's got the perfect mechanics, and it just works at any distance. Out to Edwards. The Timberwolves again can't hit. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Russell looking around, down low. Here's Davis, and Davis throws it down. The muscle from Davis, so confident and powerful inside. Minnesota's gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Gobert with a screen for Conley. Takes it inside. To the wing on the left. Anderson finds Conley. Shot clock at six. There's the three. The Timberwolves again can't hit. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Back to James. Right side Russell for the lead. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got five assists in the game. And I like when Russell plays with pace. And that was a good shot in rhythm. And that can get him going. Anderson against LeBron. McDaniels passes to come Into the lane. And Davis sends it back. Kicks to James. Dinwiddie outside. Back to LeBron. Hachimura the pass to Davis. Dinwiddie outside. And another three for the Lakers. Yeah, that's two balls in a row from Long Range. Here is Edwards. He's got 24. Minnesota calls timeout. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Good timeout, if you ask me. They have the momentum, and Coach wants to find a way to try and stop it.
Jackson Hayes is checked in for the Lakers. Prince comes in for Rui Hachimura. And then for Minnesota. And Reed comes in for Rudy Gobert. And Nikhil Alexander-Walker in for Edwards. Scanning the floor. Six to shoot. To end the cold streak. That's good on the jump shot. Conley's got eight points. And this is Conley's game. He's just terrific with that mid-range. The D has to be much more concerned. Russell. And rebounded by McDaniels. Timberwolves trail by four. He dishes it to Conley. Anderson outside. That shot off the mark. Prince with the defensive effort. Russell kicks to Prince. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Prince has got his second best. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. Reed misses. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Dinwiddie outside. And the Lakers hit again from deep. When he has that much space, he's a pretty good bat to nail the three. Timberwolves trail by 10. Outside Conley. There's the pass to Alexander Walker. Conley against Russell. Here's Alexander Walker. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Alexander Walker's got himself going there. His first points of the game in the deep ball. Prince, the pass to Russell. Prince in the post. Working on Anderson. Good work there as it goes. Davis has got eight points here in this quarter. Our premier player in this league, Davis, with another huge night, showing why he is an NBA champion. Here's Alexander Walker. Then would he cover him? Just five on the clock. And shot on the way. It's rebounded by Hayes. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Conley against Russell. Passes to Reed. Inside. Pass to Alexander Walker. Misses the three, and he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't cap it along. Puts it up from 12. Prince wide open. That's in there. Davis with the assist. And now it's a 12-point Laker lead. Russell against Conley. Pass to McDaniels. Shoots the three. And look, look, what you love about AD defensively, it's the instincts, the ability to move his feet, the timing of the shot contest. It's perfect. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. 
And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. There wasn't a better pass in the game. Almost like he had a sixth sense. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And a look at the five for the Timberwolves to start the fourth. Edwards is out there with Morris. Then there's Reed. And it's Alexander Walker in at the three spot. He gets that one. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch. Because that's who's going to come away with this one. LeBron, that's a two-pointer again, Los Angeles. The minute that man walks into the gym, LeBron James is in his range. Morris against Dinwiddie. Reed kicks to Edwards. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. And as long as he keeps missing from deep, the D will keep letting him fire away. He's just off from range right now and not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Ball's not loose. It's stolen by Reddish. Prince dishes to James. On the wing, Dinwiddie. He's looking for LeBron and finds him. Now the pass to Reddish. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. LeBron's got six assists in the game. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. It's stolen by Reddish. And finished off by LeBron. This is classic LeBron leaping off the floor for a powerful dunk. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Morris against Dinwiddie. Outside Edward. And the foul on Cam Reddish. That is his first foul of the game. Minnesota making a switch here. Warren's checked in. Now into the lineup for the Timberwolves. Number 24, T.J. Warren. Morris passes to Warren. It's Edwards on the wing. Edwards drawing the double team. It's stolen by Reddish. Prince outside. Davis the pass to Prince. LeBron with it. And out of bounds as the Timberwolves gain possession. D'Angelo Russell's checked in for the Lakers. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Go Bears check. And the Timberwolves call timing. change here. Hayes is checked in. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. 
Edwards against Dinwiddie to end the run. The Lakers with the rebound. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Yeah, the defender all over. Hey guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Lakers? All game long, they've been making it rain from the arc. And look, they've done it by feeding the hot hands. And on top of that, they're getting a lot of points off assists. And it's always a good sign when your team is working as a cohesive unit. First one falls for him. And both free throws, good for Dinwiddie. Timberwolves trail by 19. Outside, Edwards. Fires for three. Prince grabs the miss. And Prince has got the ball here for the Lakers. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin in the game. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. They've had great execution, and what stands out is that they're just taking what the defense gives them, not forcing anything. James against Morris. Passes it to Reed. Six on the shot clock. Over Russell. Reed gets the bucket. Wow. And with that one, he halts an 11-0 run by Los Angeles. James kicks to Russell. Pass to Prince. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Hayes dishes to LeBron. Hayes with the screen for James. And another three for the Lakers. Three pointers are killing them at this point. And they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Pass to Alexander Walker. Here's Reed. That shot, no good. LeBron with some nice D. To the inside. And it's Prince that time on the assist by Dinwiddie. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. Minnesota's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. The pass to Reed. And here's Edwards. Now we know, Richard, you've made your stance on shortening the NBA season very clear. Are you still opposed to the idea? I am so opposed to it. When you think about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Chamberlain, Bill Russell, you think about the travel that these guys had to do, and they still played 82 games. They weren't sitting in first-class seats. And now, fast forward 40, 50 years, players can't do that, or they want to shorten the game. I'm sorry. Stick with the history. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Here's James. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Morris passes to Edwards. Edwards drawing the double team. And the wide open shot from Morris buries it from three point range. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Passes it to LeBron. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. 34 points for LeBron. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Morris against Russell. Reed kicks to Edwards. Edwards drawing the double team. Alexander Walker. And another three for Minnesota. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Russell against Morris. James good. LeBron's got 13 points in just this quarter. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Timberwolves have gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Dinwiddie against Edwards. Has to Reed. Launches a three. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. 
And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. And the Lakers call time here. of the game, LeBron James. And his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. With this new collective bargaining agreement, the players will now be able to invest in NBA team. A chance for them to capitalize on skyrocketing franchise valuations. I love it. And it's a big deal. The NBA is the first league to allow player investment. Always ahead of the pack. And Davis sends it back. That'll be Minnesota as it goes out of bounds. Timberwolves retain possession. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Here is Conley. The Lakers with the rebound. Russell's got four rebounds in this game. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. And it's Davis with the jam. And watch Davis fly. And it's Conley with the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Gobert with a screen on Russell. Conley with it. Picked up by Davis. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Los Angeles leading by 23. Pass to Reeves. Davis against Gobert. The pass to James. Just five to shoot. Davis setting the pick for James. Three pointers off the mark. The Timberwolves shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. Pass to Gobert. And Greg, one of the finer points of the new collective bargaining agreement, players in the G League night or overseas no longer automatically entering the NBA draft when they turn 19. 
Yeah, it, it makes sense. You think about players in college, they choose when to enter the draft. So only right to give pros that same amount of time. Hachimura, the pass to Reeves. LeBron outside. Davis setting the pick for Russell. Pass to Davis. For Gobert. And it's Davis missing. Timberwolves trail by 20. Conley finds Edwards. Now here's McDaniel. And again, Minnesota with the triple. 12 straight points off of three pointers, and the D looks shell shocked. James, the pass to Hachimura. To the paint. Russell against Conley. And they double up Russell. Hachimura kicks to LeBron. Fader on the way. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. It's stolen by Hachimura. 151 left in the game. Here's LeBron. Got it. Good job in the low post. LeBron's got 38 points. Late in the game, up big. They continue to attack. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. And stolen by James. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Lakers. What an effort in the transition game we've seen tonight from these guys. Really pushed the ball, and I think in, in doing so, we really want to push on the defense. Yeah, definitely had a huge edge, and this is their DNA. When they run the ball and dictate the flow of the offense like we've seen here, these are the kinds of games they can have. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for LeBron. And he was getting buckets all night long, giving the defense that work. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. You gotta blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. And we've got a lineup change for the Lakers. Morris passes to McLaughlin. Down low. Warren kicks to Morris. Lock at six. Takes it from ten. The shot, no good. And you have to like how they're moving the ball right now. Snappy passes to ready shooters. It's basketball 101. But boy, is it working. Shot and game clock separated by five. And Hayes throws it down. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Here's McLaughlin. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And, you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps, and the execution was flawless. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much. LeBron, when you know AD is behind you, how does that help you defensively? You can stay home. You can allow him to play one-on-one -on -one versus a guard versus a big, and you can stay home and be able to box out and get rebounds because he's that good. It's quite a one-two punch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you for that, David. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching.